Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you are new here, hello there. My name is Lillian. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for tuning in again to see another video and in today's video guys i'm taking us to the volta region of ghana so we can together take a look at this incredible campus that i stumbled on online never heard of it before but i was doing research on something else when i stumbled on them and i said okay let's talk about it so today we are going to check out the university of health and allied sciences located at the volta region are you ready and i hope you are subscribed to my channel Channel. if you have not subscribed do so by hitting the subscription button ensure you on the bell notification because that way is the only way youtube will notify you anytime i upload a video all right so with all of that being said let's go and check them out hold on before we go i would like you to give this video a big thumbs up as we go to the campus to check them out get to know more about them and i'll be back let's go Welcome to our rising specialized University of Health and Allied Sciences. Great stories usually start from small and humble beginnings. After spending two years on the drawing board, we have decided to establish a university which will provide us with highly skilled and mobile workforce science and technology for the future. Since its inception in 2012, the University of Health and Allied Sciences has grown into one of the most reputable institutions in Ghana, located both in Ho and Hohoe. The university specializes in the training of health professionals. So we decided to invest some of our mega resources into building uh, a decent uh, hall of residence. We decided in having a hall of residence so that our students would have the opportunity to experience the JCR system, that is the Junior Common Room system, and uh, to be able to have a feel of what it is like to live on a university campus. I keep telling my friends that uh, I'm a very proud member of Republic Hall of KNUST. Indeed, I was the JCR president of Republic Hall uh, for almost two years. You know, so when our students don't have that experience, uh, they miss something in the university uh, training system. So we've been able to put up a 680 bed uh, hall of residence, which we have christened the Asogli Hall. This is in recognition for the, the good relationship we've had with the people of Asogli State. Uh, currently, uh, most of it is occupied by medical students, but we have uh, people from all other programs uh, within that enclave. Uh, it took us about four years to raise the money to be able to do that. My name is Ahyanki Steven Yakuti. I'm the level 200 medicine course rep, and I'm a resident of Asobi Hostel. The hostel has been very helpful to us. Hopefully. The hostel has Wi-Fi. It's extremely good. I've introduced these office chairs at the TV area, where you can just sit and relax after a long day and all. 
you can even have your group work and then your project work. Just sit there and then enjoy the Wi-Fi and then just go ahead with your business. Me, for example, me being a medical student, we are usually stressed as expected. So after class, I can just go over there and then just relax myself. If I have any project work to do, I just go ahead and then do it. UHAS is the university of choice within the sub-region for training of quality health professionals. We're poised to be the leader in health technology and a hub for health research, including herbal and alternative medicine research. The location of UHAS in the oxygen city of Ghana, who also allows for a relaxing and peaceful environment conducive for teaching and learning. UHAS sets high standards of behavior promoting traditional values which underpin lifelong learning and achievement. We believe that academic success flourishes within the ethos of clear expectations. Many students around the world, particularly in the West Africa sub-region, have found the University of Health and Allied Sciences to be their university of choice. International faculty tend to bring diversity and infuse a vast amount of experiences from other contexts. The University of Health and Allied Sciences is greatly committed to developing its students to be the best they can be. And with the presence of international faculty, students will get the opportunity to learn from diverse perspectives. I am Professor Uluwashio Olaiwaju Omotayo, a professor of sports psychology in the School of Sports and Exercise Medicine. The University of Health and Allied Sciences and the university is five hours away from the Nigerian Senate border, which brings the university the closest to Nigeria of all universities in Ghana. the most about this school is i love I, I don't know why but i love new unis okay i love new newly established schools because i love to see it grow and i love to be part of the people if i am to choose a university if i don't go to knust in ghana that is if i want to do the public unis then i will go to this one especially if i want to do like health i mean they are just there you know that thing like where is a small campus everyone is just there and everywhere is quiet i love me some campuses like that not too big where i have to like all the hustle and bozo another thing i love here is the beauty of nature it is so i just don't know how peaceful it could be yeah i love it so if you are thinking of applying for a uni in ghana for those who want to do the public you have tried knust you have tried the university of ghana and maybe it's not working out or maybe the fees is much i strongly believe that this uni is a bit flexible compared to others and also if you are doing nursing i mean highly recommended if i were you if you don't want to go to school of nursing why not go here yo so yeah that is that about them i was searching for videos of alumi and i couldn't really find but i think i found a video except if after filming i decide to go back to hunt you know to search harder and uh, and see if i can find more videos of the alumni she's quite intelligent let's play her clips a little bit and i'll be back arise great giant and shine for health and development god bless you has yes great is you are Woo! hello there you welcome back to my channel and today we're going to be talking about my alma mater the university of health and allied sciences i've been getting a lot of questions concerning 
the school and i got actually a request to do a video about it it's been a long time since i got the request but i finally got the opportunity to film so basically i attended the university of health and allied sciences in who um people thought the university was non-existent but it's existent i went to the university come on and i graduated the university is a nice university but pressure and stress uh, i guess it's everywhere in going to that university actually i realized that there wasn't like so much peer pressure i was just like everybody's doing their own thing like yeah basically that was how it was now in our school unless you want peer pressure to grab you then peer pressure will grab you hi i'm harris richard alifuji class of 2020 us i got to hear about you as through my mother in january 2016 because she had a one of her sisters who was working then as a director of finance and so she encouraged me to apply uh, for one of the programs here and then go through the selection process so somewhere in uh, february of that same year i decided to give it a shot and i applied I was called for interview on 1st of June uh, here and the interview was organized at uh, the Trafalgar campus. I came and I met a panel of about eight people who thoroughly interviewed me, wanted to see the reason why I decided to give a shot at this a new university or this young university. After that, I received uh, somewhere in July of that same year, mid-July, I received a text message on my phone. I was given admission as an undergraduate in the university. I was very, very happy. I was so excited. I got a chance to also uh, hold a lot of leadership positions among the students from my days as a hostel president through to se through serving two years in the SRC parliament and uh, becoming the acting SRC president for about nine months. Uh, it has given me uh, the courage to stand in front of any crowd. And as such also, uh, even though I've completed and it has been two years since my completion, wherever I go, I have the courage to stand and I talk freely because of how I was trained in U.S. I was actually taught that to be able to work as a health professional, you have to, you have to be a leader. Because whatever thing you are doing, you are going to do, you are supposed to be accountable for it. And so if you are going to be accountable for lives, then for positions also, you can freely take those roles and responsibilities. I've enjoyed the fruit since I left in uh, university, communicating for one of the best political parties in Ghana. And, uh, I, I, and, and obviously, I am not, I'm not carrying last in that field. I don't know what I was able to find. Yeah, so that is one of the alumni uh, from this school. And... You can see how she sounds. She's just a YouTuber doing her thing. I got her video from her channel, which she have stopped uploading for the past how many years. Uh, maybe she got busy with life and abandoned it. So yeah, that is that. Like I've always done it. I love to talk about the impact a school is making around its host community. But in this case, this is a public school. This is owned by the government for, for the people. I mean, this is a public uni, so I didn't bother myself to check for the impact. This is a government-owned school, so it simply means the school itself is impact that the government is making for the people, for its citizens. So I didn't bother to search for any impact videos from this school. But we're going to go back to the school and just do random tour, whatever we can find, whatever we can find, and I will be back. Let's go.
yo, 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 yo. So, like I've told you, some of the videos you see in this video are quite old okay i believe strongly that right now they'll have a lot more going on there for them and i think they have more than a campus by the ways so i don't know which and which i was able to present to you but some of the videos you saw on my channel here are videos that they filmed long long time ago if you live around there you can leave the comment down below i believe strongly that a lot more has happened over there because come on this is a government school the government can afford it so maybe they have done a lot more than i could bring in this video that's because some of the videos you see here are old videos of them and um, i would like to know down there at the comment section if you knew about this uni before or you're just finding out about them in this video i would like to know down there at the comment section and i do hope that you enjoyed this video and that you will visit their website you will give it a try and see if you would love to be enrolled here now let me leave you with this before i end the video if you are a foreigner and you want to school in ghana at the public universities in ghana you got no problem certainly you're definitely going to pay more than the local students if you're willing to do so all the universities are open to you as long as you meet the requirements and of course the fees also another thing i would like to let you know as an international student coming to school in ghana especially if you're coming to school in the public university they will likely quote the amount for you in dollars or if you go on their website you see the amount written in dollars now you do not have to be bothered because it's not everyone that can have access to dollars all you have to do is calculate that amount bring cities you don't have to necessarily bring the dollar bill to them they want you to understand the currency because they believe you might not understand the currency if they quote it in the local currency so when i hear they pay in dollars it's not necessarily them paying in dollars it is them quoting it in dollars for you to have better understanding so you could convert it to your own currency and see what it gives you then you will understand the equivalence of it in your own currency then if you decide to still want to go on ahead then it is expected you come with that amount so i don't know if you bring dollars they will reject or accept but certainly they're going to charge you according to the current rates of dollar at, at the time of making payment all right so i hear this a lot of the time oh they will ask you to pay in dollars they charge in dollars hey they tell you that in dollars but the payment does not have to be made in dollars and i hope that you did enjoy this video and that i will see you in another one bye